There are three classes of flexible body armor designed to protect against handgun threats and two classes of armor for tactical operations facing rifle threats. Type 2A armor protects against lower velocity 9mm full metal jacketed handgun rounds and Smith & Wesson 40 caliber full metal jacketed handgun rounds. It is concealable and suitable for full time use. Type 2 armor protects against higher velocity 9mm full metal jacketed handgun rounds and 357 Magnum jacketed soft point handgun rounds. While heavier and more bulky than Type 2A, it is also concealable and is designed for full-time use. Type 3A armor protects against 357 SIG full metal jacketed handgun rounds and 44 Magnum jacketed hollow points. It represents the highest level of protection currently available from concealable armor and provides protection against most handgun threats. While generally suitable for routine wear, departments located in hot, humid climates may need to evaluate the use of Type 3A armor carefully. Type 3 armor protects against 7.62mm full metal jacketed rifle rounds and represents the first tier of tactical armor. As such, it is not intended for full-time use and is designed strictly for tactical situations such as confrontations involving sporting rifles. Type 4 armor protects against 30 caliber armor piercing rifle rounds and provides the highest level of protection currently available. Because it is intended to resist armor piercing rounds, it often uses ceramic materials which are brittle and may provide only single shot protection. As with Type 3 armor, Type 4 is intended only for tactical situations when the threat warrants such protection. NIJ Standard 0101.06 also defines a category of special threats. The NIJ Compliance Testing Program does not include testing for these special threats. However, an agency requiring a level of protection other than one of the five standard levels may specify additional testing, referencing the exact test rounds and impact velocities to be used. Departments should select body armor equal to their ballistic protection requirements, ensuring that each officer understands the maximum protection offered by the armor, as well as its limitations.